What up, it's your boy NWP, and today we got a really unique and different topic to talk about, and I feel like it's going to be an awesome topic, even though the video might not do so well. But before we get into it, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you can get alerted anytime I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Additionally, if you check the link in the description, you'll find a giveaway for $50 in your favorite gaming currency, Steam, PlayStation, or Xbox. It's really up to you. Get that COD point, you know, game going on, or the V-Bucks. I really ain't gonna judge it. It's up to you. So, anyways, let's talk about specialists and the rumor that there was going to be reaper and specter added but we're going to go a little bit deeper into it than just oh the speculation of two characters no no we're going to talk about what other specialists are not in the game that could fit in the game and what like what would their specialist ability be or their specialist weapon so, anyways, we'll go with the, you know, the ones that are rumored to be in the game files already that could be coming at any given point. And that's Reaper and Spectre. And we're going to start off with Reaper, which is, you know, the experimental war robot. Uh, in Black Ops 3, he had the specialist Scythe and the uh, ability Psychosis. Now, if you recall, Scythe is just a Gatling gun. And if you want to go, like, really technical with how the current game model is playing... It could be toned down to work more or less like a longer range flamethrower. And that's about it. Because the flamethrower has really been toned down almost to a perfect level. Where I would say definitely works. Absolutely. But I would say that it's number one, you can actually survive it. And number two, it's not quite instant kill. So you actually have to hit people with it. And, you know, you can't just clear an entire spawn with one little burst one tiny tap of it will not kill like you know six people instantly which is you know reasonable um would i say the flamethrower is as dangerous as say the annihilator or the war machine no so i would i would honestly say the scythe could be toned down perfect use for the gatling gun absolutely i did not even see that guy in the corner um but the thing about this is that I don't know how exactly, or I don't think psychosis would be, uh, even be the ability, okay? So we'd have some reimagining already going on here, just like almost every other character in the game. Now, if you look at every other character in the game, they, they all seem to have something that's reminiscent of what they had before, and then they don't have something at all. You know what I mean? Like, So like, what do I mean by that? If you look at, say, Nomad... Nomad used to be Rejack and Hive. Now, he doesn't have Rejack and Hive now. He has a mine, laser mines, which is equatable to the Hive. If You, you know, they're both mines. However, instead of Rejack, he has a dog. Completely different, okay? Completely different. And it's kind of weird because he's technically got two lethals, but whatever. Uh, you know, because Recon has two non-lethals. It's just awkward in that regard. But if you look at, say, um, Battery, Battery has the uh, the War Machine and doesn't have the, uh, what was it, was it Reactive Armor or Kinetic Armor? Kinetic Armor, that's what I believe it was. Uh, instead of the Kinetic Armor, you get in a Cluster Grenade. So, um, and, and this furthers my point that most of the stuff that was actually favorite, like, um, in terms of specialist abilities, is actually in the game currently as an, um, an equipment piece or, you know, non-special issue item. So, basically, if you think about it, the armor is more or less kinetic armor. It gives you one or two extra bullets that you can eat. And, um, if you look at, like, uh... Let's see, what were the other ones that were used that were specialist abilities? Oh, um, right there, the uh, bonus points, is as they pop up on the screen, perfect timing. Uh, like, Seraph would have had the combat focus, and the bonus points uh, are, are more or less similar to combat focus. Which is also, you could argue, is, is you know similar to some other things out there as well, but, you know, it's... 
there's basically a, a toned down or reimagined variant of uh, the abilities already put into the game if they were you know used a lot in black ops 3 to begin with so that's that's kind of what i mean now for specter on the other hand i don't i think he would be one of the you know kind of like completely changed um i don't think the melee uh you know ability or the ripper would be as effective in this game and i don't feel like it would be as fun to play him in this game because you wouldn't be able to jump and chain those uh you know melee attacks so i don't know about that his actual specialist weapon could probably could possibly be the active camo going invisible and being able to come in and out for a period of time is actually overpowered and uh you know it could I mean, looks the way the game is playing, I could see it. So that leaves what what his ability would be. Now, actually, if you think about it, if he reversed them almost so that the Ripper was his ability and he could, you know, melee with a knife every so often and go invisible as his, you know, activated weapon, that's actually really kind of good, in my opinion. That's just, like, solves everything right there. Uh, but if you look at the game... And uh, you look at like the characters. It's kind of obvious why, if these are the if it you know true and leaked and coming to the game, it is very obvious why Spectre and Reaper were chosen. They kind of look to fit the bill very easily on uh, new marketable camos. Now, R Reaper and Spectre are cool and really obvious. But the Outrider is also not in the game, okay? And the Outrider, if you don't recall, was the one with the you know, bow and arrow. And the combat, uh, I don't know, what was it actually called? Let me check that real quick. Vision Pulses. So the Vision Pulse was actually the one that had Vision Pulse. Like Recon. So that's already in the game. Don't, so we don't need to add that, but the specialist weapon, the sparrow, or the you know bow and arrow that with explosive tips like Rambo, not in the game. Totally fit in the game as it was because it really was. You had to hit him, and the explosion damage really wasn't that crazy. Like you, you had to use two or three arrows to get splash explosion kills. So I totally feel like the Outrider could fit in this game perfectly. I, you know, the bow is one of my favorite things to see in shooters always like that. And I don't mean like a crossbow. I mean like the Crisis 3 bow. You know, an actual, I don't know why I'm, I'm a weirdo, but I enjoy it. And <clears throat> I definitely think that, that the Outrider would fit nearly perfectly into the game and give us a really unique, um, you know, situation, kind of like the Annihilator, you know, where we can you know, hit people from ranged with, you know, a really good, you know, decent amount of range with a single shot and kill them, you know, rather than have to just lob a random grenade into a corner. Oh, did that just happen? <laughs> um, but no, that's, it's just, it feels like there's a, there's definitely room to bring all the specialists that were in Black Ops 3 into this game and use them you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below do you think that we should have them or not but uh yeah guys that's been it for me i hope you guys have a good one and uh thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and as always be easy